Hello again everyone. Something very different for us. I know many people have done vlogs, but we're going to show you one of our favourite curries. Very simple, but absolutely delicious. And we'll couple it with a, a nice chilled white wine, which we'll tell you about as well. And we'll probably have a, a nice gin why we're cooking the meal. Now, what we're cooking on, it's outside and it comes in one of these little suitcases. And here it is. Nice and simple, one of these proper camping gas stoves. We use it a lot on the boat when we can do things outside and we have the the gas bottles as well so we'll get everything ready and we'll show you what we do and also the end product and all I can say I know it's gorgeous and I can't wait to get it all cooked and get it on the table as we start I'll just tell you about Spice Taylor if you can get hold of any of the Spice Taylor curries, you'll be in for a treat. They're absolutely delicious. Far better than the one, the, the things what come in, um, you know, in the glass bottles. They tend to be just full of sauce. You know, all, all, it looks like gelatine and goo gum and things like that. <laughs> this is different, delicious, and they do lots of different flavors. You do your ingredients, you cook it, you cook whatever veg you want. Then we put a base in and then we put the sauce itself. And there's a chilli what always comes with it and you put as much of that as you want inside the, the meal. But we'll be having the, the full chilli because we like a bit of spice. Like I say, this is southern pepper curry. But there's loads of other ones and we'll be doing it with prawns and a few other ingredients what we'll show you and we'll be having it like I say a nice gin to help us get, get along while we're cooking and top it off with a decent wine what goes with the uh, prawn curry now on with the action so before the cooking starts here's the gin Cheers. With a slice of apple. Yes, apple instead. Yeah, instead of lemon. Now tonight we're eating out. We are, yes. But not out, out. Just out. Well, this gin, that's oh, that nice, you, isn't yes. it? That's a lovely gin. And it, people always ask us to recommend. We like this. It's a Whitley and Neil. Yes, it's just a dry gin. It's South African. It's got gooseberry undertones and nine botanicals. And it's 43% and absolutely delicious. So it's the start of the evening, eh? Mm -hmm. We like this one with apple, don't we? We do, yes. It's nice. So, Keith. On with the cooking. Um, do you know, I love cooking. You do, yes. People who know me know I love cooking. Um, at home, big kitchen, everything around you, it's easy to, to do. On the boat, you want it as convenient as you possibly can yes, don't you yes. and tonight i'm just gonna let keith but i'll let i'll do the cooking you do the explanations yes okay i'll do the cooking yeah. See? okay so uh i get better get on with it or we'll start well, losing the light your as well. will melt. <laughs> right Ooh. On with the oh, show. It's a bit like Floyd on uh, Floyd on food, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Right, so in the pan, what we've got at the minute are cardamom pod pods, some I've split up and a couple have left open, some chilli and curry leaves. And I think there's a couple of cloves in there as well. And a bit of oil. And a little bit of olive oil. Yes. So we just let that eat Kalamata olive oil. Yes, Kalamata. Because yes. that's our favourite now. Absolutely. 
So just warm the oil and get the spices hot. And then what we'll do, we'll pop in some onion, some red pepper, some apple and tomatoes. That's just our choice. We yes. like apple. Oh. Sometimes we put carrot in. Yes. But we try try anything, don't we? Yes. Something what's nice. That's what curry's about, isn't it? Yes. Chuck everything in. People quite often ask me what recipes I use. And probably my background in analytical chemistry, I like yep, a, yep. a bit of this and a bit of that and a bit of this and I think I really should write things down. No, no, because I like I don't like everything being the same all the time. And you say I really like that, yeah. and I think, hmm, <laughs> I, I wonder if that. I can do that next time. <laughs> do I need to Kenya? Yeah, this just out? give that little stir now. Do it, okay. Anything comes out? Yeah, just push that all to the side for now. Right, it's buff. Right. And then, <coughs> yeah, it's that chilli. Oh, oh, oh. Just take that curry leaf out. My God, that's, uh, <laughs> that's a little bit... Uh, yeah, well, you stood over it, you see. I know, I know. Let them learn. Leave that chilli in. <laughs> right, in goes. Yes. Oh, smell that. Just a bit, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I wish we had smell a vision. Me, uh, take over yeah, the oh yeah, early. I don't want to uh, don't want to take my glory. Take your job. <laughs> no. Oh, that smells so good. Mm. You got the full waft of the oh, chilli then, didn't you? I did, it went straight in the nostrils. I really like to make curry from scratch, but when we're away. It's handy, isn't it, Keith, on the yeah, boat? Just, just have these things ready. And they give you a base sauce, which goes in when those are cooked off a little bit, and then the main sauce as well. And what I like is they're not too gooey, are they? That's what I was saying that Some before. jars are <laughs> yeah. a little bit gooey. There you go, Keith, there's a plate just to put your spoon on. Thank you. Oh, right, uh, the little bit of chilli. Yeah. Right, that's going, I will uh, do a Floyd. Yeah, just have a little, uh, have a turn round. I'll have to uh, wet my whistle as they say, and have a taste of this lovely gin. <laughs> Back to the important part now. What, the drink or the cooking? I don't know, I like both. Do you know, isn't it a gorgeous evening? It is, yeah. Oh, Ooh, I like it like this. It's like camping, isn't it? Mm. But we have had, over the years, we've had barbecues and whatnot oh, in yeah. the snow. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. have. Absolutely. Oh, that smells delicious, that. And that's not including all the, uh, the sauces and that at the moment. Yeah, just soften them off. They don't need to be crispy or anything. No, no, I agree. There's one thing I can guarantee with us two. We enjoy our food. Yes, we do. <laughs> you could squash the tomatoes, Keith. I was thinking that we were, yeah. I, I, I nearly cut them, but because I was coming oh, out, yeah, I right. forgot. Well, they, they are actually not as easy as you think when they're in there, but what? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Flat. It doesn't matter. They'll cook in the sauce. The apple just gives it that sweetness, doesn't it? Certainly it certainly does. It goes very well. Would you like your base sauce, Keith? You can put the base sauce in, yeah. I'll let you do that while I'm holding the camera and the spoon. 
You could only smell it. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, cooking out in the open, eating a lovely meal in Bees Bistro. Yeah, and we're always fully booked. Oh, we're fully booked. Well, when we're out and about on the canal, and people go, oh, I always say, we're fully booked way in advance. Oh, that's smelling absolutely unbelievable, that. Do you like May sauce? Yes, it's in there now, yeah. These are so much Most nicer. Most supermarkets oh. sell these, don't yeah. they? Yeah, they do, but they're so much nicer than the jars we've bought previously, aren't they? Yeah, not to name those, though. Well, we won't, won't name them, but this, these are phenomenal. Absolutely. And when you're on the boat, these take up a lot less room and they're um, quite light to store. They're very easy to store, aren't they? They certainly are. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm -mm. I agree. Mm -mm. I'll just turn that down a little bit, Keith. Hold on, you. hold on. I will, yeah. Just, uh, just a tad. Yeah, I agree with you. So that's been a really useful tool, this oh. camping gas stove, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a lot less messy than having a barbecue on the towpath. Hmm. With some of these sauces as well, we cook, um, we just add in a little bit of yoghurt, yes, don't we? Yeah. Or whatever, whatever you fancy. Oh. Carrot is quite good, for, yeah. finely grated carrot's good for a base. Well, curry, curries, you being creative makes you enjoy your curry more, isn't it? Yeah, not... and curries were always leftovers, weren't they, yeah, years ago? They were, they yeah. Went, you know, chuck in whatever you've got. Do you want to put your prawns in? Oh, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm just uh, having a little... Uh, make sure... Little tip. Make with sure the, uh, there's gin. no shell, yes. because I accidentally and, swallowed a shell. And what type of prawns are they? In North Atlantic. North Atlantic, without a shadow of doubt. That's our preference. Oh yes. We don't like them from. We like cold water from. That's it. North Atlantic cold water prawns. Our prawns don't take much cooking. Uh, they're taking my job over. Oh, sorry, Keith. Thank you very much. Now, do you can give it a little blast. I was thinking again, yes. <coughs> in the kitchen, or in the galley, in the boat now, um, we've got the basmati rice. If you're not sure, some people don't like to cook rice. I find it so easy. Put your, rinse your rice with cold water, then rinse it with a little bit of boiling water as well. Just drain it off so it's not quite so milky. You never get rid of the whole milkiness. And then about, what, an inch above with water, put your rice on, a little bit of salt, boil it up, put the lid on straight away, switch it off and leave it. Don't stir it, don't even peep at it, <laughs> just leave the lid on That's it. and walk away. And then when we go in, the rice will have completed cooking and it will steam in the uh, water that's in there. Cool, this is leaking And good. what wine are we having tonight? Uh, I'll show you when we get <gasps> inside and we, uh, we'll get the bottle out when we're sat down ready to eat in the bistro. Okay, look. Mmm, quite refreshing a nice gin isn't it? Yeah, it is nice. I think that's cooked. Do you? 
I don't want to interfere, but no, I no. think, what do you think? It looks it. So. I find it difficult, and as <laughs> one of our nephews knows, I like to be in there, in the kitchen, and I find it very, very difficult if somebody says, they say we go on holiday with them, uh, sit back and we'll cook, I think, what? What? <laughs> I've got to be doing something in the kitchen. So I think what we'll do now, we'll plate up and mm. let them see the finished, the finished article. Yes, eh? before we eat it. Before we eat it, because we're starving. So we'll get back to you shortly. But for now, it's plate up time. <laughs> I think the time has come now to have this, do you? Yes. Let's eat. In Bee's Bistro. Lovely and relaxing. And a lovely, nice, chilled wine. Yeah. Lovely. Here we go. Our meal and our wine was absolutely gorgeous. We don't half love our food. Anyway, that's it. And we'll see you in the next one. But for now, as usual, ta -ra.